Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. Thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe to my awesome channel. Help me change the world one electric car at a time. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you for all of my Electric Israeli shoppers and the Electric Israeli swag store, patrons and supporters. Thank you all. I am on my way right now to um, the Rockaway Mall Supercharger, which is about seven miles away from my house. And the reason I'm going there is, as you probably heard, the Tesla is uh, unveiling, rolling out a version three uh, supercharger, which will uh, get charging up to 250 kilowatt. That is around uh, a thousand miles per hour on average uh, and that's just starting uh, so uh, I am um, really blessed to have actually two superchargers not far away from where I live one is like I said seven miles and one is about 11 miles and having said that uh, in the last Tesla Model 3 update uh, for the um, sentry mode and the dog mode and all that stuff we also got a, uh, an update for uh, the range. So now my car is ra rated range is about 325. When I bought it, it was 310. Amazing. How can they do that? Anyway, uh, from what I saw, I saw some videos that now uh, Tesla Model 3, which got this update, now can get a regular supercharger. They call them the, the V2 superchargers up to 141 45 something like that kilowatt charging speed now so what i did i emptied my uh my car basically i drove it around until i got to 59 miles and so now i'm going to the supercharger in the rockaway mall and what i'm going to do is i am going to charge it for i don't know about 10 15 minutes i never charge there i mean i charge at home but i'm going to see if I can uh, get that kind of speed. I wanna see if I can get that kind of speed and I'll record it and let's see what happens. Hopefully I did. Now usually when my car gets this low on a supercharger, and I did it many times when I uh, did long range driving, usually it gets around, like at the first, I would say five to 10 minutes, it gets around 110, one time I got 117, which is about 500 miles an hour. Uh, an average uh, charging uh, so that's that's also very good but you really have to be low on juice low on juice okay so let's go to the supercharger let's take a video and see what I get I'll be right back okay guys I'm back uh, as you see the numbers were regular so I don't know if my car did not get this uh, update or this supercharger which just opened two weeks ago literally is not updated to that speed i don't know uh the numbers were simple i charged i charged exactly for 10 minutes uh i came 740 to 750 i came with 50 miles i finished with 108 i got about 57 miles actually uh the charging speed at the beginning starts slow and then went to as much as 105 kilowatt and then down below a little bit for a few minutes and then settled to around 90 so uh, and the battery is pretty low I mean it's not that cold or anything like that you know 50 degrees no not too, not big it's nice outside so basically whether this car does not have that this update the supercharging update or this supercharger is not equipped I don't know which which way either way I got what I usually get. Like I said, sometimes there are some superchargers that I drove al along down to Florida that I got 117, 117 kilowatt, um, 117 kilowatt hour uh, uh, charge at the beginning. And it's, it's not like the the whole time. So I gained in 10 minutes. Like I said, I gained 57 miles in 10 minutes against. So if I was there for another 10 minutes, I probably would gain. 100 100 something miles for about 20 minutes 30 minutes would be a little more and all that so so this is what i called classic v2 supercharging 
nothing special about that one. So that's the experiment. It's a it's a failed experiment. <laughs> but I'll continue to. I'm gonna go to the other supercharger next time. See see if it's different. There's one like I told you, beginning not too far also from my house. Okie dokie. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.